And in conclusion, that is why it is highly unlikely we will be seeing a new Bond video game any time soon. Well, that's probably the most depressing video script I've ever written, but hey, it's 2020. This is not the year for any kind of good James Bond franchise news, so... And there's absolutely no, not even a whiff of a new Bond game on the horizon, so... What better time than now to sum up all of the troubles and strifes that we Bond video game fans have to face? <sighs> anyway, time to check Twitter, I suppose. Good evening, Mr. Bond fans, and welcome to a video that I did not expect to be making anytime soon, to words that I did not expect to be uttering anytime soon. Announced today, a, a, a new James Bond video game is in development. The news was broken by the uh, game's developer, IO Interactive, um, along with a really slick, really cool little trailer. Um, obviously, it's still like super early days, along with the announcement, they also put out a, a little thing saying, if you want to work on the game, please submit your work here. So it's like, it's obviously like super, super early days. I would ex I would not expect to see this game released until like 2022 at the least. And in fact, I, I would imagine that they'll probably be aiming for 2022 as a release date, 60th anniversary of the film franchise and all that. Um, so, but yeah, it, 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 this is this is phenomenal news. I'm so excited. So like I say, it comes from IO Interactive, who are also the developers and publishers of the Hitman series. Um, and we'll talk more about that in a little bit, but they released some, uh, the press release um, that came with the announcement is as such. It's Bond, James Bond. In collaboration with MGM, Eon Productions, and Delphi, IO Interactive is proud to announce that we will develop and publish a brand new James Bond video game. Project 007 working title features a wholly original Bond story, and will see players earn their 00 status in the very first James Bond origin story. D I quibble slightly with the wording of that, but never mind. Project 007 will be powered by IO Interactive's proprietary Glacier technology, and will be made for modern systems and platforms. Project 00 07 is currently in active development at IO Interactive's offices in Copenhagen, Denmark, and Malmo, Sweden. Uh, both locations are recruiting elite talent from around the world to join the team that will build out this exciting and unique gaming title. It's true that once in a while, the stars do align in our industry, said Hakan Abrak, CEO of IO Interactive. Creating an original Bond game is a momental undertaking, and I truly believe that IO Interactive, working closely with our creative partners at Eon and NGM, can deliver some Something extremely special for our players and communities. Our passionate team is excited to unleash their creativity into the iconic James Bond universe and craft the most ambitious game in the history of our studio. Robert Marrick, MGM's Executive Vice President Global Consumer <laughs> Products and Experiences, said James Bond has a strong legacy in the video game space, with some of the most iconic games of all time based on the character. Working with our partners Eon and the talented team at IO Interactive, we plan to bring a new take on this legendary franchise franchise to gamers and Bond fans around the world. IO Interactive are masters of, craf of crafting living, breathing worlds of immersive storytelling. This is absolutely phenomenal news. Like, I can't express enough how excited I am by this as a big fan of James Bond video games. It has been eight years since the 2012 release of 007 Legends, a really disappointing and not very good game. And that felt like it kind of killed the, the whole franchise, really, after, like, we spent, like, you know, we were getting James Bond video games every year, every other year, and then that game came along and kind of killed it dead. And there are various reasons for that, but most can be attributed to the fact that the game just did not have enough time to be developed, and it was, it was, the existence of the game was entirely to tie into the release of Skyfall at the time, to be a 50th anniversary thing, and it, it was one of those projects that has a deadline before it's even, the cart, the cart is well and truly before the horse kind of thing. So I love the Bond games when they do original stories, those are some of my favourites, Nightfire, Agent Under Fire, Everything or Nothing are three of the absolute best Bond games, and I'm really glad that this is going to be following that same suit. 
the idea that you are earning your double O status is a really interesting and cool angle as well for like the structure of the story. It does say the very first James Bond origin story, which I guess you don't really, I guess Casino Royale 2006 isn't necessarily an origin story, but I do take some slight issue with the wording of that. It's like, well, how far back does the origin go exactly? And how far back does this go? I'm guessing as well that this is going to be the first Bond game in a while to not use any particular sort of cinematic Bond's likeness as James Bond. This is completely me speculating, but unless they're going to do some kind of like de-aged Daniel Craig thing, I would imagine that they'll go some, with something completely original with this, like they did with Agent Under Fire back in the um, early 2000s. Because obviously No Time to Die, Craig has said that that is going to be his last film, and this is supposed to be Bond on, you know, his origin story, so... Unless they're going to de-age him, I think we might end up with a completely original creation, which is something that I would love, actually. I think that's a really good starting point. If you really want to do a lot of James Bond video games, why not just have a video game James Bond model, a video game James Bond cipher, and just have that model on the, all these adventures? I don't like it so much when they feel like they just necessarily have to tie into the cinematic actor just for the sake of it. And we saw that with, like, the last era of Bond games. I mean, you know, did I need to see Craig and Goldeneye? No, I definitely didn't. Um, and yet they just felt like they had to kind of arbitrarily put him in. Or at least that's what I'm assuming anyway. They may well come around and say, yeah, we're gonna base it on Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig's gonna do the voice of the character. <sighs> However, I just can't see that happening if they're really going full, gu full guns blazing on No Time to Die being his last one. I think they're gonna want to kind of wipe the slate clean a bit. Uh, and maybe this Bond video game will be the first kind of step in a post-Craig Bond era and might give us some indications of what that might look like, which is so super exciting. Like I say, the fact that this isn't at the moment, isn't at the moment tying into any James Bond film, we haven't had any kind of announcement of what's going to be coming after No Time to Die. The fact that it doesn't have to adhere to any specific brief linked in with that one film coming out, I think is very exciting. IO Interactive, of course, are very well known for doing the Hitman games. Now, despite having a copy which has been sat on my shelf for a good few months, I have not actually played this game yet, and it will be it will be played very, very soon anyway. Uh, but many people have recommended the Hitman games to me. They were saying, like, it's about as close to a Bond video game as we get these days, really need to play it. So I know enough about them to know that it's kind of like, you know, an agent vibe and secret agent, all that kind of stuff. So I, 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 from what I've seen, the reaction, people are very, very psyched that this company are attached to a Bond project. And it's a company that I've seen on the wish lists of many a Bond fan for so long. I have seen nothing but absolute elation on my various social media pages about this pairing. So that's, it, it's a really good start. I think more than anything else, it's just really nice as a Bond fan to read some, like, good news <laughs> about the franchise. Because <laughs> it feels like 2020 has been nothing but just, yeah, uh, misery <laughs> for Bond fans. Uh, it just f felt like something of a cursed Bond year. And uh, obviously, like I say, there is so long to go, so far to go with this game. But just the fact that we had this news, it's been a real uplifting things as I read this earlier today. Really exciting. Do you have any hopes, wishes, dreams for this game? Please do let me know in the comments section below. I feel like a a, a, yeah, a couple of mine are already kind of hinted at or, or granted here. Original story, I'm guessing it's gonna be a original Bond. Um, I'm guessing it's gonna be third person similar to Hitman, but who knows? I'm guessing it's gonna be a lot of... I guess it's gonna be a lot of, from what I've seen of Hitman, I think it's gonna be a lot of doing actual spy work and not being seen and all this kind of stuff rather than what some of the more modern games have been, which is basically a killing spree, which can be fun in its own way in a video game. But certainly in 007 Legends, I felt like it was li quite literally overkill, actually, with the amount of just shooting you were expected to do, and it felt vastly more like a Call of Duty game than 
a Bond game, so I would expect that the mechanics and story are going to mean an awful lot more in this game than what we had with Activision for the most part. Ah, oh, I hope there's driving levels. Maybe I'll actually submit myself to join the team for the game's development. I'm not a game developer or have any experience in that field, but I can just submit my credentials as, you know, nitpicky Bond fan wishes to join your team to make sure you fit in nice references and gadgets and racing levels. Hire me. I hope that you are as elated by this news as I am. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, please hit the subscribe button if you are new to this channel and want to stay up to date on the various Bond related videos I'm going to be uploading. I'm going to be uploading my GoldenEye N64 review hopefully this weekend, hopefully on Sunday, but stay tuned for more details on that. It's very nice of them to announce an entirely new Bond game to tie in with my, um, my upcoming Bond video game review, isn't it? Until next time, Bond fans, so long for now.